Now we will talk about horology. And this is daily circle. This is the horology. This is the book. This is the book. And it consists of seven or eight services, depending on how they combine. <coughs> and uh, we were drawing like a little diagram last time. I'll try to repeat it. This is uh, time, like this is day, night. We have 12 hours in the day, 12 hours in the night. If it's a day, so we have 12, 15, 9, and then we have 3, 6, Nine. So here we have two on one. If we do it, put it like this. No, no, no. Sorry. Two on nine. Twelve. Here is eighteen. Eighteen. Eight. One. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 18, 18, 17, 18 or 6. So if this is 6 in the morning, then this is 5, this is 4, 19, 20, 21. Let's try this. 22, 23, 24, midnight, and then 1, 2, 3, yes, 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? So this is, this is our system of time, like they call it astronomical, but at the time of Jesus, at the time when Gospel tells us about the events, what happened, they, the people lived using sun goes up. And this is the beginning of the day for them, meaning that one hour after sunrise is first hour of the day. Second is two, this is third hour, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. So this is day. And then this was the first day of night. Second, three, eight, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> and this is like sun goes down. Okay. And why why we talk about this? Because the book of Horologium it has hours, book of hours. There is a prayer of the first hour, third hour, sixth hour if you heard about it. And this is even mentioned in the Book of Acts. Like there was like third hour and the apostles went to the temple and they were praying. And, and so the Book like, of Hours is going off of the, the more ancient hours? Yes, they're going in the ancient. So the third of uh, the, the service of the third hour. So in, in this book, Horologia, there is a service of the first hour.
this is here approximately we are talking approximately because we say okay let's say sun gets up at six but it gets up you know at five can be like early uh, or later but we are kind of trying to just understand the system so first the third hour third hour is here our time is nine in the morning but why we call it third because it is here first in that in that system why it's here the first because of this our time is seven uh, here we have six six hour is this one and then we have ninth hour ninth hour is here so we know from the gospel that Christ was brought for the for the judgment to Sinidrion at, at first hour. So we know in our time it was seven o'clock in the morning. So they arrested him at night around here. And then by this time he was already like in Sinidrion. And um, then they crucified him i think at three at the three at the third hour and he was six hours on the cross and he died at ninth hour it says it was from and if you remember also it says that from the six hour till the nine there was eclipse the sun got, got dark. So those three hours there was darkness during the day. Right? <coughs> there are many different events happen. Uh, for example, in the prayer, and it all covers, it all covers in, in the texts of the services. For example, the, <coughs> the third hour, uh, it's Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit descended on apostles, it happened in the third hour. Nine, nine o'clock in the morning. At the sixth hour, the Christ was on the cross, and at the sixth hour, Adam ate from the fruit that was prohibited to eat, so he committed the sin. And uh, they say it's even in the text that in this hour Adam was deprived from God by sin, and then at the same hour Christ comes to return him back to, to God to paradise. Six hour and the ninth hour is always we remember about the cross, cross and about the death of the Savior. <coughs> so these are the services from daily circle they are church repeats them every day of course we don't do them but if you go to monastery if you visit a monastery one of the works main main things that monastery does is they complete all the circle of the circle job of monks because people who live in the world they are have you know they have to work support family they are not capable if they come on Sundays and feast days, it's a very good, it's a good, great thing, right? Well, despite some people, you know, live by the monastery, so they can come, let's say, any day, come for vespers and join monks with their prayers. But for parishes, it is usually like too much, unless they have a lot of priests and have strong community with a lot of people who would like to support them. <coughs> so. Be besides ours so here we have vespers again I'm giving approximate time vespers 
this is also daily service then exactly at midnight at midnight Byzantine their, their time it's a compliant compliant can be small compliant or great compliant depending on the year time of the year <clears throat> then we have uh, usually after this it goes one hour like you know services they of course like last these are short, maybe like 20, 20 minutes. And uh, approximately here or here, we have matins, uh, midnight first. Midnight service. This is already like, they mean that it's here. Well, let's, let's say here, yeah. But I'll talk later how practically they, they can they connect them. And then Martins is around here. Sometimes it's connected. Let's say it's connected, so it's here, Martins. Okay. So it's at night and uh, starts and at sunrise usually yes. uh, so how these services are being combined usually so this is the idea just to understand where they fall but even in the church even in the monasteries they don't serve them this way because it's very difficult like every two hours to get together nothing probably will be done you know you can't even work this is only possible sometimes they do it during the first day of great land like once a year but they they try to do separately they would meet just four hours and they would meet for breakfast but then they try to finish all the work before and not be occupied with anything except kitchen like they have to still feed but no other work just all the time dedicated to prayer and that's what i kind of would like we to maybe we try to do it on the first week for those who wish to <laughs> to participate as much as you can uh, you can try to do it uh, some people who live in the desert or in the cave on Mount Athos they have this opportunity they can try to do it if it's only you let's say it's on your own and you have work that is not like eight to five you don't have to do but you can you know manage your time or your work time then you can try to do it you can try like get up at seven right read first hour then do something then read ninth hour it's it's like spent 20 minutes then work for two another two hours so then read another hour so what is the meaning the meaning is like that all day to be in prayer to remind yourself always like every every two three hours you remind yourself about holy things about prayer about reading they also include the, it, the reading daily reading of the gospel and the apostle can be included there in the monastery as a certain way but in in general like in the church in monasteries or how we serve them daily services they combine like this usually vespers ninth hour vesper and vespers they are combined in one service so people would meet together serve this then they would eat trapeze here and then they would meet for compliance this is how on mount Athos, at least in, in monastery they do it after that they go to sleep and then they get up around here but they combine all these three services together. Plus liturgy. And uh, note that liturgy is not part of daily circle. 
liturgy is not part of anything it's like standing on its own like out of time kind of you know this is like a very big event that can be served only once a day in orthodox tradition not not more because the day is image of the whole time in a way you know it has start beginning and since christ came once in all this creation time so this he we serve it once a day only then sorry this is liturgy i put it wrongly <clears throat> but then they do third hour and sixth hour this is also together and then plus liturgy so you know if you come on sunday Evening, this is what we serve. Eight thirty. We start with third hour, sixth hour, and liturgy. Now, uh, let's try to leave it, but I will show you something else. This is daily services, uh, which is very simple, Monday through Friday. Uh, but we, unfortunately, being in the parish we almost do not uh, see or do not we are not participating in those services what we know usually is vigil vigil like all, we call it all night vigil but of course it's shorter uh, what is vigil vigil is vespers Matins, and first hour. This is vigil. So why we why we kind of why we learn about this so that when you are at the service on Saturday night, let's say. You, you would know what, what is happening in the church. So that, and where is the Vespers, where Vespers starts, when it finishes, when the Martin starts, when the first hour. If you get to know those services, that you, you will try to find yourself where you are. Vigil, this is at night. And then uh, when we say liturgy in the morning, this is evening. Liturgy in the morning. This is usually third. Six. And then liturgy itself. So this is what we usually serve in church unless there is a great land on something. So it means that we do not do compliance very rarely for great feasts or during the great land. We don't do midnight service practically never, unfortunately, but you know, you can still get familiar if you know what books are. Sometimes you, there is a practice, there is a tradition in Greece. Uh, they don't, instead of morning and evening prayers, they do midnight and compliant compliant service sometimes if you get tired of <laughs> reading you know this to want to make a little break to refresh yourself you can for a week or two weeks try to read compliant instead of this and then come back to the prayers and instead of morning prayers they read midnight service and it's nice to learn and to see how how it works and I'll talk about it, I'll show you how to do it if you wish. So what is one more very, very important thing is to, to understand that this is the beginning of the day in the church tradition, when day starts and when day ends. In our tradition, what we have new day at midnight, right? After midnight, oh, it's already like second day. Now we have what? Seven o'clock, like six thirty. This is Tuesday, 
and it will be Tuesday until midnight. And then from the first hour, it's already considered Wednesday, right? In church, it's very different. Right here, right here, in this, in this place, this is the beginning of the day. Day starts with Vespers, with evening service. Uh, according to the Bible, where it says there was evening and there was morning, day first. So when, uh, from the very uh, time of creation, the beginning of the day, the beginning of creation, the first was evening, for some reason. <laughs> but but this is how it how it kept in the church. So it was dark first. Hmm? Because it was dark first, maybe. Maybe yes. And th and this so so. It is right here, the start of the day, and the 24 hours to the next day. This is why this vigil service on Saturday night is it's not Saturday. In church understanding, in church tradition, this is already Sunday. This is where Sunday starts. And there's a Lord's Day, the commandment, right? To call work six day, one day you come to church. And people say, oh, okay, this is liturgy on Sunday. Maybe Saturday I should come. That's fine. But the Saturday is the service of Sunday. And liturgy, as I said, it's not even uh, part of the daily circle. So liturgy is like a reward, a little like present on top of your labors that you have here visiting Saturday night. That's the time of the same with feasts. Next week we will have uh, one of the great feasts. Uh, it will be, I think, on Thursday. We will serve liturgy at six a.m. We do it early so people come can come before to go to work. <clears throat> but the, the all the texts of the feast, all the main celebration of it, will be a night before. That's very important to understand. So if there is a big feast, you have to come, you come at night. There will be like all the uh, songs dedicated to it, all the readings, anointing, you know, like all the poets. This is it. This, that's, I think that's, that's enough. Okay. Well, enough for today or we, maybe we go briefly to another one. Another book. Okay, I, I'm following you pretty good here, but if the day starts at my car three o'clock right there, Indeed. why is the first hour down there? Wouldn't the first hour be when the day starts? No, no, no. Not the day starts. I, that's, I used the wrong word. Not the day starts. It's the the house in the как сутки сказать по-английски. You have to work for that. Сутки is hours. Сутки. So we have a word which is not day, but we, do you have a word which just cover twenty four hours? A day. <laughs> so in this, uh, we, in Russian, we have a separate word for it. So day in that sense, not in the sense of day and night, but it's a day plus night. Yes, that's a whole yeah. 24 hours. Daylight. Day, daylight, maybe. This is daylight? Yeah, it's not. Maybe. Okay, so then then this is like a day, which is 24 hours, and this is daylight part. This is night part of it. Mm -hmm. So this is this is starts here, but the day itself starts, daylight starts with the sun coming. Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of the It starts in the evening, and and this is interesting. Also, you have you, you in English we say daily circle, right? mm -hmm. but in Russian we don't say daily. We say sutichny, sutichny. So we use the word sutki, which which means twenty four hours. The circle of this twenty four hours, the service. So there are the services again. So first one vespers, complain. Midnight, matins, first hour, third hour, sixth hour, nine hour. 
And, and it's very interesting that these two services, they are always usually put together right, right after one after another. So the new day you meet in the play, what I would say, <laughs> in the, at, at least uh, church-wise. So, so all those services, they're in the Book of Hours? You can, yes, you can make a picture if you want. And in Book of Hours, yes, 